Hi, I'm Laura Ekstrand, and I'm the producer of all three of the solos. I'm doing costumes for all three solos and props, and uh, I am performing in 101 Humiliating Stories. Hi, I am Scott McGowan. I am an actor, and I am playing eight different roles. I'm Clark Carmichael, and I play Harry Clark and Philip Robostein and all of the parts in Harry Clark. Um, my name is Harry Patrick Christian, and I'm going to be the stage manager for Harry Clark. Starring Clark Carmichael, stage managed by Harry. Harry Clark, there you go. <laughs> I am Betsy True, and I am the director of Harry Clark. I don't think we've ever done this particular format before, actually. Over the summers, for the last 10 years, we've done um, a solo series. So every July, we do four solo play readings. And these were a couple of the plays that we really thought uh, we would love to do the whole production of. And when we were choosing plays for this year, we were thinking about what do we feel strongly about. For this third slot, you know, we really didn't have the one single play that did it for us. So we went back to our list of solos and pulled these three as the ones that would really make a nice trio. Everybody is on a fast track. Uh, but having to be collaborative and generous, um, you know, kind of as we move in and out of the space and tech and all of these kinds of things. A company here, the designers here uh, that work with the Vivid Stage and that are a part of the, the fiber of Vivid Stage are generous uh, people. And so uh, if we had to be on a fast track, I'm happy we're on it together here. <laughs> Such a tour de force for all of us, all three of us as actors, and you've seen us do all sorts of incredible works over the years, but this, I think, is a pinnacle for, for all of us to be on stage without anybody else to bounce off of and to rely on your own your own teachings and your own uh, uh, art that you've, you've worked on for years. And I think for the audience to, to see all of that and be entertained and engrossed for 75 to 90 minutes for all of us to be in that world with us, I think it's an amazing thing for the audience to see that and for us to also, it's exciting for us to be able to do something like that. For the absolute brightness of Leonard Pelkey, we're having a pride night on the opening night, Thursday the 20th, because we would like to have a little opportunity to celebrate with the community uh, at least once throughout that run. Your manufacturer, I think, is bringing in uh, some alcohol, which is always good before a show, um, to get you loosened up and in the mood for something fun, um, but also sad and heartwarming. Um, but uh, hopefully we'll get some people to come to this uh, event and uh, support theater at the same time. There's something fun for the audience about showing up every weekend and seeing something completely different because it is so intimate to have an actor just talk directly to you. And, and I think all three plays have different tones. They're very different experiences. And of course, the three of us are very different actors. So I'm hoping that if seen all together, um, it'll paint this really interesting picture um, but of course, each one of them stands alone, so if you can only make it to one of them, each one is a full experience. I think the greatest thing about Harry Clark is it's, it's an amazing story. It, it, it's fantastic. And there's a million characters and the twists and turns and goes ways that you never think it's going to go. The challenge is to keep all of these characters separate and keep the, the story going because it, the story, I just need to trust it because the story kills and so if I can just write it, it, it I think people are really going to like it. Clark is a remarkable actor who is playing 19 different characters in this play. He is absolutely glorious uh, and working so hard to make each character come to life. What I'm most excited about, um, well, to, to do it. Uh, in some ways, uh, I'm living the part with Clark. I'm not playing the role, but I'm running lights and sound and following along in the book. So every line that he says, I'm mentally there with him. Since Clark and I are, are longtime friends, uh, I think it'll be really a lot 
of fun. <laughs> and just got to play one of the characters he's playing with him and doing the dance with him, which was a lot of fun. So this process is fascinating. I'm excited for them to just see me run around and act like a fool. Um, I think that often I, I am cast and I cast myself as someone who's kind of serious, kind of has it all together, you know, is very kind of orderly. And, and that's kind of, you know, in some ways who I am in life. But there's also this other part of me that I get to display in this show, which is just kind of goofy and like lots of running around and lots of characters and voices. And so I am looking forward to being able to just play out there for this show. Come see 101 Humiliating Stories. Come see The Absolute Brightness of Leonard Pelkey. Come see Harry Clark.